All right, guys, today looks like I'm working on a couple of small, I think they're considered eight inch. These are considered eight inch. And one's USA Ace Hardware, and the other one's made in Taiwan. So I need to take them apart, run them over the wire wheel, clean them up real good. Give them a little dab of paint, I guess. This one was used a lot by the looks of it. This Taiwan one. The spring has got a lot of, lot of play in it. There's a spring it right down in there. There's a spring right there that pushes on this metal. I wonder if I can get that out. Anyways, yeah. yeah, this jaw is a little loose on this one, but it's not real bad shape. Let's clean it up. See, see, these aren't real boogered up. They're just full of trash, a lot of dirt. So hopefully the wire wheel takes that off. And this one, same way. At first I thought it was damaged, but I think it's... Uh, it's, it's just full of trash and dirt and stuff. Give it a good cleaning and then we'll come back to it. Cleaned them up. I'm pretty sure this is a rigid, made by rigid for heart ace hardware. Just because the powder coating, I've tried to strip it before and it's tough. The powder coating on this wasn't powder coat, it was more of a paint. So I'm going to uh I'm probably just gonna paint both of these. And you know, just paint them a red. But before I get there, I was going to see if I could get this spring assembly out of here. And clean this area up in here, which might be a mistake. Because I think that spring is made on to Since I still don't have internet because of Hillary Communications is not working. So I can't look anything up. So I'm, I normally don't look stuff up anyways, but this I wanted to kind of get an idea how, 
how this spring assembly in here is made. And I don't want to break nothing. Okay, this comes up like that. But how does this work? Does this work? Huh. Well, well, you think that's replaceable, or it would, you think it should be replaceable, but you never know. Watch me break this, and then a wrench is not going to be usable if I break it. All right, time for a little pair of needle nose. Let's see what I got here. Well, maybe. Am I getting closer? Well, that spring came out of there. So I guess you are supposed to be able to get it out. Okay, ta-da. That was holding me. That slides into a groove right Let's see if I can show you in the camera. Stupid camera. I can't, it's backwards from what I want to do. I can't, there's a groove right there. See that groove? And that's where that little slide, that little piece right there slides in. Then this spring goes across the other side right there. So I'm going to clean it up, make this all look good. This is spring steel by the looks of it. All right. Let me get a Dremel and clean this up real quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, I cleaned it up real good down inside. I used a brush and brushed the best that I could in there. And then I took a towel and a screwdriver and just poked it through there to try to get all the debris out. This spring has an 8R, R, let me turn it this way to you guys. 8R, so I don't know what the 8R stands for, but I cleaned it up, got all the rust off. I'll put some, uh, I'll put some grease on it when I put it back together, but if you look real closely, it says WF. I think that's Western Forge, who made a lot of Craftsman tools, and Western Forge screwdrivers, uh, they made screwdrivers and stuff for a lot of people, but I believe that is Western Forge, and I think it has a small S. And I'm wondering if the S is a date code. That's the only number on here. Eight, and then there is a number two stamped in the handle, which I thought this was a rigid, but I don't think so. And the only reason I said I thought it was rigid is because the powder coating is really good on this. Powder coating doesn't come off very good uh, with the wire wheel. This came off easily. So this isn't powder coat. If it is, it's a very, very weak. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint both of these and just make them look good. Put them back together, grease the spring real good. I did realize this Taiwanese one is bent. It's got a little bow to it. So I'm gonna put this in my uh, press over there and bend that back and 
try to do it without breaking it. That's my next goal. Uh, anyways, yeah. I don't know if I should polish part of this. You know, with all this, it'd be really hard to polish because you got rough casting. You got the rough casting there, and then you've got the, this part here, the wheel, uh, the threads where the wheel goes over it. Hmm. I've done it before on the big ones. I've just polished the edge here and then painted the rest of it. I think I might just do that. All right, guys. I'll be back after I get it painted and I'll show you what I did. All right. Let's see here. I got a, I got this one coated. And uh, anyways, uh, stupid magnet. I was going to uh, put this one back together. Now the problem I'm going to have is getting that spring in there. And you know what? I think what I'm going to do, just a little bit of grease, just because it was rusted and that should help, let's say. Now, getting it in there. Well, be darned, fell right down in there. I don't know if you can see. Now this, goes like this. The problem I'm going to have is I'm going to have to push the spring down. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did the spring stick to my mag my I think the spring stuck to my screwdriver and slung out across the table and onto the floor somewhere. Hang on, let me get flashlight. All right, guys. I, I was, I gotten in a hurry and it's what happens when you get in a hurry. I found it, it was underneath the table. It took me a while, but I found it and I really need to slow down. I've got so much going on at work that I thought, well, I'll get this done today. Now, I, I dropped the spring in there. Now, I need to hold said spring down and push this thing in place. Oh, I'll show you. See this? I gotta hold the spring and push this down. Oh. And of course, my screwdriver and the spring is in the way. How am I gonna do this? If I push down like that, I got the screwdriver, I'm pushing down flat. Oh, it popped up. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I should just wait and do this on my day off when I get a day off. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to do this to where my videos aren't the best in the world, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying. It's hard to see what you're doing and film at the same time. You have, unless you guys have done this before, it is very difficult. Oh, the spring keeps popping out. Anyways, it's difficult. Just take my word on it. I 
have dealt with some very, 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 very stupid people today. But they do make me look good. Stupid people have a tendency to make the rest of us look very, very, very smart. So, sometimes it's worth dealing with them stupid people. Oh, I think I got it over that spring. I think I do. Now, I need to drop this down in there a little further in that groove. Did I get it? No. Heck yeah, I got it in there. Check that out. Okay. What I should have done, put a little bit of grease on there first before I stuck it in there, but I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm just, uh, actually I want to take this, get it done, take it to a friend of mine at work. He'll get a kick out of this. This is one of his favorite tools. It's a little eight inch uh, uh, pipe wrench. He uses that thing for everything. I mean, it's just a go-to tool. Kind of like one of the other guys, his go-to tool is a little six inch crescent wrench. them at the same time but time's killing me must be nice some of them YouTube guys they got they don't have full-time job or they're retired and I still gotta pay I got I gotta live I gotta pay my bills taking the tape off. I want to see what that... I didn't polish the edging. What I did is I used the fiber wheel, what I call a Scotch-Brite wheel, and just dressed it up and made it look nice. I hope you guys check that out. And it's my favorite red color. It's sunrise red. It's a, I call it Porsche Indian red. It's a 1977 Porsche color. Anyways, it works fantastic. And it looks good. Yeah, over time it'll get beat up. And, and the paint's not as good as uh, the powder coating. And, and I really don't want to take up any more space in my shop to do powder coating. So, this'll do. It paint will help protect it, and it's not gonna be used outdoors. All right, let me uh, maybe work on the other one. I don't know. I need to go probably get a bite to eat, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will be back and show you some more on this other one here. I think this one I'm gonna have to fix. I'm gonna put it in a press and bend that back just a little bit just to fix it. And this one looks to have a spring. Yeah, has, it's the same setup. So I'll take all that apart. All right, I'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I finally got a day off. And I'm gonna work on this last wrench here, or pipe wrench. I gotta figure out. I have slept and I don't remember how or what I did to take the other one apart. So I'm kind of starting all over again. 
It's not like I do this all the time. Aha, uh -huh. now it should. I'll show you, it's got a, it's got a track where the spring runs in. I'm trying to push it out. I've got it lifted up. Aha, uh -huh. I do have it lifted out there. If you can see that little uh, tab rides in the groove on the inside of this. So, should, should pull out like that. And then there's another spring. I'm, I'm lucky I didn't lose it. Let's see if I, I'm trying to angle the camera so I can show you. Maybe, uh, maybe you can see it. There's a spring right there and I'm trying to pull it out now I'm thinking it's this one. Oh, this one might be stuck in there how is that how did they attach that spring in there there's no way that springs attached I didn't think it was it was just rusted in there and there's a I don't know if you can see the groove in there. There's the slot where this fits in there. Anyways, I'll clean this with the Dremel, Dremel wheel. And this, I'm just gonna give a good cleaning on the inside. And then I'm gonna give it a paint, a little paint. Now I thought I had my buddy at work I thought he had one of these. His is a six inch, not an eight inch. And that darn it. So now I'm looking for a six inch. Actually comes in handy. And what these little uh, wrenches come in handy for is if uh, like turning gate valves on, you know, especially in an old facility like mine where the valves haven't been exercised in decades, you turn a gate valve and normally stem breaks, packing breaks, something breaks on it. It's just one of those things you just, it just breaks. Anyways, clean this up. I'll run a little carburetor cleaner through here and wipe it out. Really not a bad wrench. Oh, I bet I'll show how I, I'm gonna try to straighten that up. It's got a bow. Maybe I can do it without breaking that. We'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hope that shows up on picture. I got a little, I've got to bend this part of it down. So let's see how this works. Let's see if I screw up. Which he bumped my head, so what the heck? <laughs> Try to get get this in the shot. It's hard to do when I have everything I gotta hold and okay. Oh That's... I need to make a like a notch or something. I should have I should have cut some wood to make this fit. Okay, maybe I can do it with an angle a little bit like that. No, it's starting to, it's starting to turn. If I can find a spot on the wood to where it'll stay in one position. No, it's wanting to roll to one side. All right, let's try something here. It might be because of the, I've used this wood several times bend things with. Crunch. Wasn't paying attention. See what I did? 
I should have had. Ah. Oh well. I'm sure it's not the first time I've made the mistake. How am I going to fold this? I need that in the center. Got another piece of wood here. Oh, tired people. Working for a living sucks. Having to pay your bills. Wonder how people do it. It's hard living day to day. wanting to roll this way now. There we go. Yeah, I think I got her. Let's find out. Yeah. Look there. I did pretty good. I got lucky, actually. <laughs> I guess it's better to be lucky and no luck at all, huh? All right, be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, ready to put this silly thing back together. I'm running a little behind. I'm going to put a little grease on this spring just to just to help the rust don't need a whole lot the problem is getting it back in there there's a pocket Let's see if i got it in there see you see it in there yeah okay now this goes in next so, I'm going to go ahead and just slather it a little bit. I mean, I really don't. I think at one time this might have been painted. Maybe. Hard to tell. You know, tools. Some of these tools sit around for years and years. People use them once or twice a year, or they get bought as a gift, and they're never used. Who knows? But, oh, <laughs> I just dropped the spring. I was just about to show you. Okay, springs back in there. I gotta push that spring down. This goes in like that because there's a groove on the top up here. The problem I have is I got to push that spring down. Let me grab another screwdriver and grab the other one just in case. I'll have to grab the smaller one to see. I'm trying to see what I. I can push this down with the screwdriver. Nope, I just pushed it off. Drop it back in there. 
See if I can push this. Ah, it keeps wanting to uh, find its own way, and it's not the way it needs to be. Now, if I push this, now I can't do it. That's not long enough. I need to push the spring down. This is gonna be. This is definitely gonna be harder than I thought it was. This one, for some reason, is spring stiffer. Did I got it in there too far? I may have already pushed it into the. I think I had that pushed in too far. Hang on, let me look here. Push the spring down. Did it. Oh, I thought I had it. I don't. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. is not as easy as it looks. I need another person to push. I need another, I need another push, person to push this, uh, I don't know what to call this sliver of metal in. Like that. <laughs> that. So the spring, the spring is under this side, that flat piece of metal, and then this side has the groove with the slot. You know, I just realized I could have put another coat of paint on this. Oh well. This is the, this is the Taiwan made. which some of you guys out there are all about American-made tools and that's all you think about. Personally, when I was a kid, we used whatever we could get our hands on. And when you're broke down on the side of the road with a 49 Ford pickup truck, you use whatever someone hands you to fix your vehicle. That's all there is to it. You use what you got. And Taiwan tools, it just, it's like anything else, depending what country you're at, everybody takes pride in their tools, and if they're properly made, and you got a good tool. Look at there. Okay, guys, I present you two eight inch. This one's Ace Hardware, which it's got a W F on, hang on, I'll show you. It says W F right there. I believe that's Western Forge. Same people who made a lot of screwdrivers and stuff for Craftsman. And this is just Taiwan, no big deal, but still a good tool. Check that out. I mean, the paint, the paint on this one, I didn't do a good look. I messed up. I thought it was done, I thought I had enough. The way I was holding it in the sunlight, I, I wasn't. It doesn't matter, good tool. I own it, my tools, my rules. Tell you what, while we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a coat of wax on it. Probably don't need to, but I'm not gonna wax everything. 
one of these is going to work with me and one of these is going to stay in my toolbox. Just, uh, they come in handy. They're not the, I mean, these aren't made to uh, take a two inch gas line apart, but uh, little stuff like underneath the sink, some of your, uh, some of your connections under your TNS brass, some of your faucets like that. You know, if you guys don't know, TNS brass is a company that uh, makes commercial grade faucets. They're actually very well made. Uh, I got a lot of TNS brass at work. That's probably one of the largest commercial made faucets out there in Chicago. Got a lot of Chicago, old Chicago stuff. I don't even know what what it stands for. Uh, Chicago, Chicago. I can't, I cannot recall, but I've got a lot of it. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. For I think I got maybe a dollar in both of these. 80 inch, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, it's not powder coated. Uh, I will say the powder coat that was on the True Value, it, it's a very good powder coat. The uh, only powder coat that I've seen that's any better is Rigid. Rigid, I don't know what they use, but it will not, it, it takes a lot, a lot of effort to peel that powder coat off. When I say peel, you're, you're wire sanding it, you're, you're really doing a lot of work. But, uh, this red paint will suffice for me. I mean, it keeps it from rusting. And looks good. I mean, I won't use them. I'll take it back. I probably will use the one I take to work. I'll use it some, especially under sinks. A lot of sinks. Basin wrench and pipe wrench is is used quite a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you think. What do you use yours for? Like I said, uh, I'm gonna definitely use them, use them when at work for a lot of under sink plumbing. Yeah, matter of fact, I gotta work on a sink tomorrow. I gotta put it back together. Luckily, I'm a small man because it's a tight space to crawl up underneath that cabinet. Well, guys, I guess that's the end of the day today. Thanks, y'all have a good day. Enjoy what's left of your weekend. I don't even know what day, number day it is. I think it's like the 6th or 7th. I don't know. Y'all have a good day now. Thanks.